Hey everyone, welcome back to Trailbreaker. Until recently, I never really gave brake pads a whole lot of thought. Living in the foothills of the Appalachians here in North Georgia, most of my rides have short climbs and short descents, and the resin pads that always come on my bikes were just fine. But the recent ride I went on was gonna be a super long ride with a lot of climbing. So I decided to take my trail bike. Everything was great up until I came to this descent. I know the GoPro footage doesn't do any justice to this, but at one point, I descended about a thousand feet in a little over a mile. Ooh, buddy. And at places, the grade was between 25 and 30%. Oh, man. Woo. A little bit of brake fade. That brake must be heating up. Now, I had never done a descent like this that took me about 13 minutes to get down. And I gotta tell you, I'd heard of the concept of brake fade, but I had no idea what it was until about two thirds of the way down this, where I had no brakes at all. And it was scary as sh Ooh, I've got like no brakes left. Holy sh But I tried to continue. Right about now, it feels like someone put Vaseline on my brakes. Oh, the smell of burning brakes. Even though I knew this wasn't the greatest thing to do for your brakes, um, I had to cool them off. Even though those pads were almost brand new at the beginning of the ride, by the time that was done, they were gone. So, what did I learn? I learned the brake pads matter. So if you're watching this, you're probably in the market to replace some brake pads and you're wondering whether it makes a difference to change from what you currently have or just stick with what you've got. If you're running the pads that came with your bike, they're probably organic or resin pads. And what that means is, it's all brake pads, they take materials and of different blends and they kind of press them together under high heat and pressure and it creates the brake compound. The organic pads are soft, uh, they're quiet, they work well even when the brakes are cold so as soon as you start your ride and you hit the brakes uh, you've got good friction. The bad thing about it is the pads don't last as long uh, and they don't work great under uh, wet conditions or if you've got like I had a very, very long descent that, that gets them very, very hot. But the good thing is, they also, you know, you, you might never wear out your, your rotors. If you're thinking about doing something else, just make sure that your rotor that you have on your, on your brakes are compatible with metallic or semi-metallic pads. Both of my bikes are. Most, if you've got SRAM or Shimano brakes, you can just kind of look at the code that's on the rotor and look it up and find out whether you can use metallic uh, brake pads or not. So what about metallic pads? So you've got organic pads over here, and way over here you've got metallic pads. So if you do a lot of downhill, long downhill, steep, if you ride in wet, muddy conditions, and you need that stopping power that's gonna be there at the end of the long run, metallic pads will probably be good to do. And as the name implies, the, the compound that goes into making the pad material just has a higher percentage of harder metallic particles. So uh, the pluses of that are they are gonna wear longer, so they're gonna last longer. Uh, they're gonna work great under a high heat and they work well when they're wet. So coming into the winter time now, uh, you know, metallic pads might be a better option if you end up riding a lot where it's wet. The drawback is they are going to wear out your rotors quicker, they are gonna be squeaky when they're wet until they heat up, and when you start your ride, they may not work and be as grabby when they're cold. So they do work better when they warm up. Uh, they're also a little more pricey, but 
Like I said, they're gonna probably last you longer. And if you don't really want to do one of those extremes, then you know the combination of those would be a semi semi-metallic pad. As the name implies, it's got just less of the metallic compounds in the brake pad so that it's not quite as hard, but it's harder than a resin. So it's gonna be louder than a resin, not as loud as the metallic, and it's gonna be basically a compromise between those two. So I think this is probably gonna be my best option for most general riding because we're getting into wintertime. I do ride where there's a lot of creek crossings and it's just gonna be muddy for the next couple months. These will end up lasting pretty long. They will work pretty well when they get hot, but they're not gonna punish you with that squealing sound as much as straight on metallic pads. The best news is if you can't make up your mind, you can just run resin pads most of the time and do like I'm gonna do, throw on some metallic pads for the ride where you need it, and when you get done, swap them back. It's super easy, and let me show you how to do it. After cleaning the caliper with alcohol, use a tire lever to depress the pistons to make room for the thicker pads. To prep the rotor, clean it with alcohol and lightly scuff both sides with fine sandpaper. I use 320 grit. This makes it easier to bed in the new brake pads. To bed in your brakes before your first ride, just ride a little while dragging the brakes or roll down a hill while dragging them. Sometimes after you've changed your pads or had the wheel off, the rotor will kind of rub on one of the pads. And the best way to fix that is to just loosen up the caliper bolts. So it can move around. And then just pull your brake and then while you're holding the brake lever, just snug down those caliper bolts and it'll be centered. Hopefully this helps to clear up a little bit of the confusion about different brake pads and when they may be best used. So don't be afraid to go out, get a couple sets, experiment, and find out what you like. You may be surprised. If you have any questions about anything that I did today, uh, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're like me and just refuse to act your age, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.